Welcome and welcome back. I'm Martin and look at this beauty. I'm down at the coast and I just thought it might be nice now to film 60 or 90 seconds and then to underscore it with one of those beautiful textural libraries that came out this year, like cello textures from Emergence Audio. You know, these press one key and, and be amazed libraries. And then I thought, no, maybe too easy. Why don't add to this then one of those really human, really expressive libraries like the Solo Brass Untamed from Westwood to play some human improvisations on top of it. And I'm really curious what the result might be. So I'd suggest let's do this. In my opinion, the result was amazing. And what exactly I did there? Um, I said in the intro, I would like to do this with the cello textures from Emergence Audio. And there's a link to a very long video where I explored the sounds and played with this. Meanwhile, I got Vento and the Vento Essentials from Heaviosity. This is why I changed my mind then in the studio and I went more with woodwinds than I did with strings. And the whole thing was done by this preset from the Wento Essentials, which is called Welcome to Heaviosity. And listen what this does. It's a very, very evolving, very nice sound. So at the very beginning, um, the song was really just this pad and then later on coming in the wonderful solo trumpet from the brass untamed from West Wood and then I overdid it. To be honest, then I overdid it. You see, it's muted by now this track. I went for the Vento and I used from the Woodwind Designer something which is called the Pad. And you can see there the macro sequencer is going up and down and the various um, faders, they go forwards and backwards and do all the magic. There will be a video, I think, after the summer break where I will explain how this uh, macro sequencer works within the heaviosity libraries and how even the cycle engine works two really really powerful engines to have those evolving sounds so the pad now is this one which is just you know a woodwind vibe and then I added three other um, pads on top one is called through the fog one is called lyrical swell and one is called the wood waves which one is quite clarinet heavy the other one is flutes and the other one is just sound design something syrping if, if you would say so in english 
Then obviously um, I do have the cello textures. Wonderful library, really wonderful library. Emergence Audio has some really, really evolving, never standing still libraries. Even there you can see their engine working. So, you know, if, if we take all those together, then yes, we do have those evolving pads. We do have a wonderful sound. It's just, you know, put your fingers on the keys and enjoy the sound. Which for a scene like we had before the underscoring, it would be already nice. But as I said in the intro, I wanted to take it a step further. And this is why I decided then to use a solo library, like in this case, you know, the um, Brass Untamed, the solo trumpet, know your tools, know your libraries. As you can see here, the red ones, I always do this little trick that the key switches, I put the velocity on 127 so I can easily spot them in my piano roll and now listen to changing the improvisation to give it really this human vibe this solo player same here with the trumpet the muted one, which is just a tonguing muted. Um, even there, there is a video uh, on the channel. There's the link to the Solo Brass Untamed, wonderful library like the Solo Strings Untamed absolutely amazing stuff from Westwood and yeah together it sounds just like it sounds as you heard from the beginning See, this sound never stands still and even just to give you look at those curves this is where the magic happens this is where the magic happens do it do it. Work with expression, work with modulation, work with vibrato if you can, like in this case with the solo brass untamed, you can. And then you get this. Wonderful sound which really has this expressiveness, which can evoke emotions. This is what music is all about, in, in my opinion. So I think, yeah, that's it already from today. Just a short video to motivate you to do something like this, to take your wonder um, libraries, the ones, you know, put the fingers down and, oh, what a beautiful sound, but then do something extra with it. Take the time to program some solo lines on top. It's definitely worth it. And I would be curious to hear your pieces. So if you do something like this, let me know in the comments. Maybe leave a link or, or write me personally. Um, my email address is even in the description with your pieces. And then I might choose, you know, three, four, five of them and we can listen to them all together in an upcoming live stream or one of the next videos. I mean, as I said, one of the next videos um, probably in September will be from Heaviosity ones. I would like to show you really Vento and Vento Essentials. I love woodwinds and they are really, um, yeah, on the next level, you know, Heaviosity woodwinds. And I would like to explain the cycle engine and the macro sequencer, really, really powerful tools. Another video obviously will be the demo song of Wochi, how I did that demo song, what exactly happened there, and Nightfall. If you have seen my last video where I explained the sunset strings, they are really, really, really expressive. It's really, you know, a very special string library, and Nightfall is just 
cool the same and what's so nice in 1999 i scored one of my first short movies it was called nightfall sorry give me a second yeah there it is there it is i think you can see it nightfall this was 1999 nightfall for sure another library that i will talk about and i think that's it from today if you would like to see another video then i suggest have now a watch of that sunset strings video definitely worth it Make good music always. See you in the next video or in the next live stream. Bye bye.